All right, what's going on guys? It is uh, Tuesday evening. Tonight we're gonna talk a little bit about the audio system again in the SL65 AMG. It's time to get rid of that uh, old school 2005 command radio, put in something modern. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be putting the Android joining head unit in and we're gonna do a five channel amplifier and we are going to do new component speakers and a subwoofer somehow. I'll get into the difficulties of the SL65 when we go out into the car in a minute. But basically what we are looking at here is the following. So the first thing we have right here is the joining head unit, which I reviewed earlier. It is a 5.1 Lollipop Android head unit. That's pretty amazing. Go back and check out my review on the joining head unit. What we have here is some Infinity Kappa 60.7 CS component speakers. They are a six and a half inch woofer and a tweeter system with two crossovers. So my plan is uh, right now, the SL65 has uh, a subwoofer in the floor footwell. It's a Bose subwoofer in a isobaric enclosure and it's a weird oval shaped woofer inside of a, a plastic enclosure. It has a uh, five I think in three quarters or five and a quarter plus uh, no sorry six and a half and a five and a quarter in the door it has no tweeter it has two four inch uh, speakers in the back for rear fill and one center channel speaker in the dash I'll show you guys all that in a moment when we head on out to the car alright guys we're out in the garage uh, with the two cars we're gonna take a look at the SL65 AMG factory sound system so what we're looking at here is the command navigation system um, from the original car. Uh, just, you know, when this came out, these were state of the art. However, of course, now they are slow, old, and very, very difficult to work with. So we're going to be removing that. I have the double din Skosh uh, factory mount for this vehicle. The door panel here has the Bose system in it. It's got a six and a half, and I believe either, a, I think it's a four inch actually, a six and a half and a four. We'll be taking out the four inch and putting a tweeter there, taking out the six and a half and putting in the Bose, or the Infinity Kappa 60.7s in there. There's a center channel speaker right there. Uh, what we are going to be doing with that speaker is we're going to be summing left positive and right positive and running that center channel speaker for kind of a middle uh, front mono fill. Back here on the back deck, which you cannot see at all because it's too dark, are two four inch speakers. Uh, with the factory system, this is a surround sound system, those are used for rear fill. We are going to be removing those uh, and maybe, maybe replacing them, maybe not. If we don't replace them, we're going to run stereo rear. So we will be rewiring them into stereo. Now back here, I don't know how well you can see that. There's a luggage compartment back here. Um, let me get this turned off and back on with some light. So now that we got a little bit of lighting, this is the luggage compartment back here and you can clearly see the speakers now, right there and right there. So what we're gonna be doing right here is something I saw online. Um, someone removed that whole section there down to where it meets the uh, storage containers and they put a new box there that's a little bit deeper it still allows these storage compartments to open and they had a I believe I want to say a 12 inch uh, woofer right there I'll have to go back and double check but I believe it's a 12 um, we might go with two tens might make a little bit more sense a 10 on that side a 10 on this side and um, get rid of those uh, buckles for uh, securing luggage so that's the plan for the rear of the vehicle. So this is the back of the vehicle. There is a false floor right here. The battery is located right under that. You can see the uh, charging system hooked up now, the trickle charger. So what we're going to be doing back here is putting the amplifier back here. And so we can either just raise that floor up and put it in there and hopefully there's no issues with heating. Or um, we can build a false floor with, uh, with a uh, plexiglass top and some vents and go that way, directly connected to the battery here, and then run the cabling uh, through to the, uh, to the vehicle right there. So we should have a good five channel amplifier located right there. We will be running the uh, fifth channel to the subwoofer. We will be running the rear channel 
to the speakers in the back that are currently mono fill. We will be wiring those up in stereo. We'll be running front left and right to the doors and then we will be running front positive and uh, front left positive and front right positive to the center channel speaker for front fill. All right, so that's the plan for the audio system in the SL65 AMG. I have to still buy the amplifier and um, figure out buying the subs and take it over to the audio shop so they can take a look and see what they're going to do with the subwoofer. I really prefer uh, two small woofers for more accurate tight bass rather than a larger woofer with more boom. So I think I'm going to go with either two eights or two ten inch JL, JL audios. That should be plenty of uh, plenty of low frequency. I'm, I'm more into uh, deep low bass than I am the hard hitting uh, kick bass. So I'll update you guys as I get more, but for now, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and we'll see you next time.